Today is World Pancreatic Cancer Day, the date survivors and activists around the world demand better in the fight against what some call the world's toughest form of cancer. Mary Maloney has the details on the deadly disease and one woman's ongoing fight to raise awareness. I'm here today healthy, thriving, and cancer-free. Lori McCaskill was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer more than a decade ago. After seeing multiple doctors and undergoing months of treatment, Lori decided to take on a more active role as a patient, literally. She learned how to administer the treatment herself, allowing her the freedom to travel and continue to participate in the activities she loves. I thought if I have three months to live and one month is going to be in the hospital, I prefer to try and take on my life and live the last few months as I wanted to. Lori uses her experience as a platform to educate others about the disease. Time is of essence with pancreatic cancer and the symptoms, because they are similar to other conditions that are less serious, they often get overlooked and misdiagnosed. Some of the risk factors for pancreatic cancer include family history, pancreatitis, diabetes, smoking, obesity, and age. The five-year survival rate is just 9%, one of the lowest among major types of cancer. There are not currently any screening tests or early detection tools. It was uh, only because I was persistent, I listened to my body, and I took charge that 11 years later I'm here today after being told I had only three months to live. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. The Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, pancan.org, has links to assess your risk. Learn more about pancreatic cancer and detailed ways to take action.